In my custom subwoofer builds, I like to use these machine threaded fasteners. By mounting these in a subwoofer box, we can use machine screws to hold the subs in. This allows us to service the subwoofers and take them in and out of the enclosure many times without losing the hold strength like we would using normal wood fasteners. But whenever I use these in a video, I always get the question from you guys, what size is it that I'm using? What head style should we use? What material should the screw be made? out of how long should it be and how many threads should it have. In this video we're going to talk about my favorite size of fasteners to use and how to determine what is the right size for you. I'm Mark, welcome to Car Audio Fabrication, the show where together we learn how to master car audio and how to design, build, and install our dream car audio system. Let's get started. So before we talk about the size of fastener that you're going to need in order to mount your subwoofer, let's first focus on the types of fasteners. Now you can see I have a nice little kit that I put together for myself here with lots of different options because when I'm doing different builds, I might need different things. But right off the bat, there are different types of insert that we can use that have threads in them. And I want to make sure that you guys pick the right one. So this here is a T-nut. And if you look closely, you can see that it has threads on the inside for a machine screw. The way that this is used is you drill a hole and then you hammer this in from the backside and those little spikes kind of hold it in place and then you would thread in the fastener through the hole from the other side. The problem with T-nuts is they have a tendency to come loose and especially if you're unscrewing a screw from your subwoofer and one of these comes loose, it kind of just gets stuck inside the box and there's really no way to kind of grab it and hold it still while you're unscrewing the screw, which can lead to an issue. In my experience, these here are the far better choice. These are a threaded insert. You can see that these have a coarse thread on the outside, which can be used for a softer wood material like MDF, or it can even be used for something like expanded PVC. And to install these, you would drill a hole the proper size and then thread it in using an Allen wrench. You can see the six sides there that allow for an Allen key. I find that these are far less prone to any issues like backing out, like we often have with the T-nuts. So my recommendation would be to pick this type of threaded insert. But these come in different thread sizes, so how do we know what thread size to use? Well, we're going to have to make the right decision and pick the right screw for our subwoofer. But speaking of making the right decision, I do want to take a quick second to thank our monthly channel sponsor, New Concepts. These are the New Concepts Crystal RCA Cables. I love these RCA cables because they are an immense value for the quality and the noise-free performance that you get. Not only are these available in multiple different lengths, they also have this. This is pretty unique, a four-channel version. This is Perfect if you want to run signal from something like a head unit in the front of the vehicle to the rear of the vehicle for a multi-channel amplifier or use between different DSPs, etc. Anything that you're going to need an RCA signal cable for. I've been using these for many years long before I started the channel, so if you guys want to learn more, check out the links down in the video description. So we know we want this style of threaded fastener, but what about the screw? What style screw do we want? Well, this style of screw here is what is called a button head screw. You'll notice that the head of it is round and it uses an Allen wrench to tighten, but the most important thing is notice that the bottom of it is flat. This style will give us a nice firm hold on the flange of the subwoofer, whereas using a style like this that has an angled head will not. Now what about screw material? Both of these screws are exactly the same. They're both a button head screw and they both have the same threads, which are a quarter 20 in this case, but this one's black and this one is silver in color. And that's because this is stainless steel and this one is black oxide alloy steel. You really can't go wrong with either of these choices. The black oxide is mildly corrosion resistant in dry environments, whereas the stainless steel is much better for an environment where you're going to have a lot of moisture. This thing is never going to rust at all. So the stainless steel is great for environmental resistance, but they do have a tendency to kind of stick out visually, especially against a black subwoofer. So you might want to go with the black oxide, which are going to have more than enough corrosion resistance for most most applications inside of a vehicle and they're going to blend in nicely. As far as the length of your screw goes, you need to consider the building material that you were using for your subwoofer enclosure. If your enclosure is three quarters inch thick, it would probably make the most sense to use a three quarter inch long 
screw. But depending on the thickness of the subwoofer flange itself, once we stick that screw into the hole, it might not stick out that full three quarters of an inch anymore. In which case you might want a little bit longer screw at seven eighths of an inch or one inch. Again, this is all going to be dependent upon your building material. So we've discussed using a button head screw, what material we should use, black oxide versus stainless steel. We've talked about the screw length, but the final thing is, what about the screw threads? Obviously we have different thread sizes of the screw. From small to large here, we have an 832 screw, a number 10 24 screw, and then this is a quarter 20. The first number in a screw name corresponds to the major diameter. In other words, the diameter from the tip of the peak to the tip of the peak on the threads and the second number corresponds to the threads per inch. So on something like this, a quarter 20 screw, it means that it's a quarter inch diameter and that you're going to have 20 thread peaks per inch. This gets more confusing with something like a number 10 or a number eight screw because it doesn't correspond to a direct diameter. So a number 10 has a diameter of 0.216 inches and a number eight has a diameter of 0.164 inches. To determine what thread size is going to be best for our subwoofer, we need to measure that mounting hole. It would be ideal if manufacturers would give us the diameter of that hole size and maybe even a suggestion for the fastener that we should use. But in my recent video where I talked about suggestions for manufacturers, I talked about how that's a pretty rare thing for them to give us. So we're gonna have to do some measuring to find out for ourselves. So I'm gonna use my calipers here and just take a measurement of that hole. And I get 0.234 for that hole size, which tells me a quarter inch screw is going to be too large. It won't fit inside that hole, but a number 10 screw, since it has a smaller diameter, the next size down is going to be the best choice. For you metric guys, the process is the same here. We would measure in millimeters. So for something like this, I'm probably going to be using an M5 bolt or depending on how I took the measurement, an M6 might fit as well. This is why I recommend that if you can, you should try to have a wide variety of different fasteners on hand. I know that that depends on how often you do car audio builds. If you do them frequently though, you should get some tackle boxes and fill them up with fasteners like I have here because this allows you to do this. This is a quarter 20 bolt and if i go to put it through the hole there far too large let's try our number 10 our next size down and that goes in no problem a real quick note about the thread size you guys should know that there are coarse threads and fine threads as an example for this one here this is a 1024 but they also do make what's called a 1032 so a 1032 has more threads per inch it would actually look more like this, but be a number 10 size. But for our application of mounting a subwoofer, the coarse thread size is going to be just fine. So again, the common sizes there are going to be 832, 1024s, and quarter 20s. Now, picking the right size of fasteners is important, but there's a couple of tips and tricks for properly mounting these and for how we can use a tool like this in order to create a square hole. For more details on the process, check out these related videos here on screen. Next time you need RCA signal wires for your car audio build, check out our show sponsor, New Concepts, at the link down in the video description. A special thanks to them along with Jerry, William, and the rest of the Patreon membership team. A big thanks to all those guys for making these videos possible, and thank you guys for tuning in and watching.